Hi, I'm John Sudall. I'm an act teacher, audition coach, and author here in Los Angeles. And before I tell you about my new book, let me ask you something. Do any of the following statements apply to you? I'm constantly told my acting is too big or too small. I can tell when I see myself on the screen, I'm not really revealing what I'm feeling. I can't seem to stop my face from moving. It seems no one knows what I'm feeling. And here's one I get most often from actors is, every headshot I take looks the same. Well, if you said yes to any of those statements, well, you're not alone. These are just some of the challenges actors face when they're trying to adjust their stage acting auditioning skills for the camera. And that's what my new book, Acting Face to Face, is all about. It's the actor's guide to understanding how your face communicates emotion for TV and film. Acting Face to Face addresses all those challenges we were just mentioning and more. It's the first book in a three-part series of learning to speak what I call the language of the Now, this book is about how your face non-verbally communicates what you feel and think through the use of emotional facial expressions. And when we use them correctly, it allows the viewer to read your mind. Now, the ability to speak this language is what separates the on-camera actor from the stage actor. It's what you were never told about on-camera acting, but you know, you better know it if you want to work on camera. Uh, there's a lot of people who call the work I do with the face to be new, different, even groundbreaking. In fact, one actor told me for him, discovering the language of the face was like discovering the missing link in his on-camera acting. Now, in this book, I'm going to explain why only a small portion of the actors get the most amount of on-camera work and what you can do to be part of this working actor group. Now, it's not a remix of Stanislavski, Uta Hagen, Strasberg, or Sandy Meisner ain't calling it something new. My book is based on the work of leading researchers in the field of emotions, as well as my 30 years of acting, directing, casting, and teaching. Now you see, here's the thing. It doesn't really matter how much you're thinking or feeling if it never reaches your face. And it has to reach your face in a real, recognizable, and appropriate way. So if you want to have a successful on-camera acting career, you have to understand how your face is emotionally communicating to others. It's that simple. In this book, I also reveal what tools you'll need to acquire to ensure your on-camera acting success. So if you're a trained stage actor and you want to learn what you need to do to make your acting more subtle, real, and appropriate, or if you're having problems with how you express feeling, thought, emotion, or you just want to be a more effective, dynamic storyteller, then I highly encourage you to read Acting Face to Face.